Anthony Davis considered everyone's number one pick for the upcoming draft, as we just heard from Jay. And after Davis, well, it's up in the air, which is probably fine by our next guest, who spends a lot of time up in the air, either before reining in his long-range jumpers or attacking the rim. Joining us now on Sports Center is Florida guard Bradley Beal. And Bradley, what's it like to hear your name mentioned as a top three selection? Honestly, it's, it's really a truly a, a blessing and an honor. But, I mean, at the same time, I really don't have too much control over that. So, I mean, it really doesn't really matter too much. But it's just as long as that I'm getting the opportunity to be able to play in the NBA. I mean, I can't ask for anything better than that. Obviously, a lot can happen between now and the draft. But a lot of mock drafts I've been seeing say that you're going to the Cavaliers with the third pick. You already wear number 23. What do you think about going to Cleveland where a guy named LeBron James once played? Oh, well, just in terms of, like, the city and the, and the team, the team is great. They had a great run this year. Kyrie Irving is a great point guard. And, I mean, the city is great. They're always behind their fans. It's a great sports city and everything like that. And, I mean, whether it's Cleveland or wherever I may end up, I mean, I'm going to be happy wherever I am. All right, we're seeing some of the highlights here in high school and in college. A big part of your game was driving to the bucket for points. You've been listed now as a 6'3 guard. How do you see your game changing at the NBA level? I think it needs to change a lot because sometimes I know I'm, I'm undersized to be a two guard, so I'm really developing my ball handling during this draft process, and that's really been my key focus during this whole process is just focusing in on my ball handling. So that's really what I've been working on the most, trying to become a, a, a point guard. All right, you went to both the same high school in St. Louis and college as David Lee of the Golden State Warriors. I'm, I'm curious, what kind of relationship do you guys have? Oh, well, people, people talk about that all the time. It's really kind of weird because he really didn't force me to actually go to the high school or the same college, really. But, I mean, I did ask him about, I mean, his decision-making and going to Florida and ours were two different things. And, I mean, it just so happens that, I mean, we went to the same high school, went to the same college, and now we have the same agents. So it's all kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a weird process. Wait, wait, this is just coincidence you say, you're saying that you actually went to Chaminade, Florida, and now you have the same agent? Yeah, it's all a big coincidence. I mean, I didn't plan it this way. We didn't plan it this way. I really haven't talked to him too much about any of this stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's, it all just, just fell in this way. All right. Well, maybe it's uh, by coincidence that you'll be going to the NBA, and maybe you'll have some success just <laughs> like David Lee up there at the highest level. Hey, Bradley, thanks so much for joining us here on SportsCenter. Good luck, and uh, we'll be talking to you, I'm sure, throughout the coming weeks and months. All right, thanks for having me.